Thanks, Dan Wittes and Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Time segment tonight, the Scandal Edition. Joining us now from Santa Barbara, the sage of Southern California, Mr. Miller. So I pretty much don't have anything to do in this segment. I'm going to go out, get a Dr. Pepper, if you don't mind. Um, and then you just, you know, kind of begin with Jay Carney and, and just go. Well, they're going to audit Dr. Pepper because they don't think he wants Obamacare. So they're going to go after him. You know, Billy, if, some, if somehow later this week, Sandra Fluke manages to get knocked up, I'm never going to quit laughing. This is absolutely rich. yippee i okay, hey, Mrs. Fuddrucker. Looks like we got ourselves a convoy. Did you see Holder today? He's shakier than a jackhammer operator playing Jenga on lunch break. And what about Jay Carney over there? He's got a worse bluff than Marty Feldman holding pocket aces. That cat blows more smoke than a Rastafarian's death rattle. A couple more weeks like this, Obama's going to be claiming he's Kenyan. Claiming he's Kenyan. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but they asked the White House dog, Bo, to change his name to Checkers this week. You remember when Obama was telling us this is when the oceans start to recede? Yeah, you know why? BS is less dense than ice. All right, so I assume from that opening um, monologue that you're not really buying the White House's explanation ah. for any of these things. Billy, you you shut out the lights in the last in the room. I'm I'm out, man. You know, well, you've this been out guy. for a while, and I mean, Come it looks on. like you're going to be uh, a profit here. But let's take it one by one. The thing well, about Billy, Carney you know is, something. He said he he was a professor at the University of Chicago. That's where they had Enrico Fermi cyclotron, the particle accelerator. Not only does the buck not stop with the president anymore, it speeds up there. You remember that old ride at the amusement park called the Whip? It would barely make it down to the end, that semicircle, boom. That's the buck in this White House. Never has a guy been more out of the loop who I'm told is the center of it all. Listen, forget changing the world as we know it. Wake up. Check your file of facts. It's hitting the fan, pal. Now, I said earlier in the broadcast that if I were a part of the White House press corps, I would have walked out of Jay Carney's briefing today when he said, oh, we can't comment on the IRS thing because the FBI is investigating. This is the oldest ruse in the world. This is what they all do. Um, they hide behind investigations when they don't have to. Every judge who gives a child rapist six months in jail, oh, I can't comment. Oh, you know, we know what you're doing. But the White House press corps, I, I mean, they should have they should have all got up and left. That would have been a statement. Yeah, because they're honorable people. Listen, somebody out, better outfit Carney for a 40 reg jumpsuit over there at Greyhound Motors, because he's about to be working with the other mechanics under the bus. No, they're not going to they're not going to fire him. Carney. No, he's such a true believer. He, they, you know, he'll be there forever. I mean, uh, I don't know about that. They got one priority now, Bill, on the left, and I don't even think it's Obama anymore. I think they think Obama screwed the pooch on this. I think it's Hillary. That's what the number one. They're so moving they wanna, all their they chips over there. Hillary, you think? They think that Barack Obama is done. Of course. Um, I don't know. I don't know. He's a pretty. They have a lot of resources. Oh, I don't mean done people. like he's going to get kicked out. It's just he served his purpose. Hillary's the next yeah. eight years. They're going to move chips away from him, and they're going to move chips over to her and build a little defense around her. And anybody who has to go is going to have to go. It's not going to, they're not going to let it get into the Oval Office. Obviously, you know, uh, they're, they're going to stop it short of that. And, uh, you know, I don't know who their Haldeman is. Maybe it's that chick over there. I forget her name. But uh, Valerie somebody's Jarrett? going to stop it. Val Valerie Jarrett's going to stop it. And they're going to start, you know, Holder goes maybe. Maybe Carney goes. Somebody's got to go. they got to throw a body yeah, out the door. Well, that's usually well the way it works. Of all yeah. the three big ones this week, Benghazi, IRS, AP, which one bothers you the most as well, an American? Well, Benghazi, because there's four guys dead. But that, and I also sense that they're more concerned. I heard Dems today talking about the one that doesn't matter to me, the AP, you know, monitoring them and seeing how many sex lines they're using each month. <laughs> Listen, as far as the IRS goes, I always assume this goes on, but I'm betting Glenn Beck has had his wazoo armor on because he's <laughs> about to get audited right he gets, out of it. But he always gets paid in gold, so they have to yeah. weigh his stuff. They know that. Listen. <laughs> and if you were thinking, if you're a conservative group and you're thinking of cheating on your taxes, 
you might want to buy on the dips, as they say. This might be the time, because I don't think they can go in on anybody. That's but right. You the probably got about two years where they can't touch you Yeah, right they now. can't. Uh, to see the AP, it's beautiful symbiosis, Billy. You got the biggest butt kissers in the world and a president telling him to kiss his butt. It's perfect. All right, Dennis Miller, everybody. A quick reminder, there are about 200 tickets left for the Boulder Fresher show. Spokane, Washington, July 20th. Make Dad happy for Father's Day. Bring him to the show. 30 tickets remain for Westbury, Long Island on June 1st. Check it all out on BillOReilly.com.